Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on convolution theorem part 2. In the first session, we introduced what is mean by convolution of two functions and then we see convolution theorem. From this, we solved a problem L inverse of 1 divided by S plus A into S plus B using convolution theorem and we see one important point the convolution of two functions f of t star g of t is equal to g of t star f of t because of the commutative property in this problem our f of t is e power minus a t and our g of t is e power minus b t. They are almost same only they differ by the constants a and b. So, we does not bother about the commutative property we just solve directly. So, for that only I took a different problem where we understand the importance of the commutative property. Let us go into the problem. Using convolution theorem, find L inverse of 2 divided by S plus 1 into S square plus 4. As I said earlier, first take F of T is L inverse of capital F of S and G of T is L inverse of capital G of S. Since we know L of F of T is capital F of S and L of G of T is capital G of S. Then write the convolution theorem. L inverse of capital F of S into G of S is equal to L inverse of capital F of S star L inverse of capital G of S where star is the convolution of two functions that is equal to F of T star G of T because of our assumption. Next, we have to write the convolution of two functions f of t star g of t integral 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u du. Now, by convolution theorem, we write the formula. Next, we write the question and I am going to split this as 1 by s plus 1 because the second term is s square plus 4. I need the 2 to the second part into 2 divided by s square plus 4. Now, by convolution theorem, I can write this as L inverse of 1 by s plus 1 star L inverse of 2 by s square plus 4. This 4 can be written as 2 square. So, according to the formula, the answer is e power minus t star sin 2t because we know L inverse of a by s square plus a square is equal to sin a t. Here a value is 2. Now we have to understand the importance of the commutative property because I said very clear take the first term as the tough or bigger term and second term always you have to take the simplest term. So, comparing these two terms, we feel e power minus t is very simple than sin 2t. So, by commutative property, I am going to change this as sin 2t star e power minus t. Now, it is easy to crack the problem. So, we know f of t star g of t is equal to integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du. Now, my f of t is sin 2t star g of t is e power minus t. So, integral 0 to t f of u. So, I am going to simply write this as sin 2 u e power minus t is replaced by t minus u du. Simplifying this integral 0 to t sin 2 u e power minus t e power u du. e power minus t is no way connected to the problem because the variable is u. So, it is considered to be a constant. I can remove it from the integration. Now, we have integral 0 to t e power u sin 2 u into du. In the first video, I show some basic formulas which is helpful for the problem solving session. Let us have a quick recap on it. e power ax sin bx dx. Here we have e power u sin 2 u du. Therefore, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2 and instead of x, I am going to take u. Therefore, e power minus t into a is 1, x is u. So, e power u divided by 1 square plus 2 square, a is 1, b is 2. So, sin 2u because x is u minus b value is 
to cos 2u and my limits are 0 to t. Next, we have to substitute the upper and lower limit e power minus t. When you substitute the upper limit, it will become e power t 1 square plus 2 square is 1 plus 4 that is 5 sin 2t minus 2 cos 2t. This is my upper limit. When you substitute the lower limit, we have e power 0 is 1 and then sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is always 1. Next, simplifying this, we get e power minus t. Both the denominator we have 4 plus 1, 5. So, I will take this 5 outside. e power t into sin 2t minus 2 cos 2t minus into minus plus 2. Now, multiplying this e power minus t inside, we get 1 by 5. e power minus t and plus t will get cancelled. Sin 2t minus 2 cos 2t plus 2 e power minus t. This is my final solution. We get the solution easily because we apply the commutative property. Otherwise, the problem will be having little more steps. Hope you understand students. Next, let us solve one more problem on inverse Laplace transform using convolution theorem. Find L inverse of S square in the numerator S square plus A square into S square plus B square. As usual, three data are important. Define F of T and G of T. Write the convolution theorem and then finally write the definition of convolution or convolution of two functions. F of T star G of T integral 0 to T F of U g of t minus u into du. Next, first write the convolution theorem and write the question. I am going to split the question as L inverse of S by S square plus A square into S by then only you can apply the basic formulas on inverse Laplace transform. Now, by convolution theorem, I can split this as two functions and we know L inverse of S by S square plus A square is cos A t. The second one is cos B t. Since both the functions are same, only it differ by the constant. I don't want to apply any commutative property, nothing. I will solve as it is. Second step, convolution of two functions, f of star, f of t star g of t. Now, f of t is cos a t, g of t is cos b t. So, integral 0 to t cos a u into cos b t minus u. Because the second term, t is replaced by t minus u du. And we know the formula from the video 1, cos A cos B is equal to 1 by 2 cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. Here, capital A is AU and capital B is B into T minus U. That is BT minus BU. So, I can write the cos A cos B in a simplified way. 1 by 2 cos A plus B. That is AU plus BT minus BU plus cos A minus B is AU minus BT plus BU because capital B is this. When I multiply with minus, I get this. Now, we have to assemble U terms AU minus BU. So, I can write this as cos A minus B into U plus BT. And the second term is cos A plus B into U minus BT. Now, we have to substitute this in the problem and we have to integrate this. We know that cos AX integration is sin AX by A. So, integration of this is sin A minus B into U plus BT. Here, A minus B into U is the variable. When I differentiate, we get the constant A minus B in the denominator. Similarly, sin A plus B into U minus BT divided by A plus B. Upper limit is T, lower limit is 0. When I substitute my upper limit, substituting the upper limit, we get A minus B into T plus BT. That is, A T minus BT plus BT. So, my minus BT and plus BT get cancelled. We get sin A T by A minus B. Next, when I substitute T in the second term, we get A plus B into T minus B T. Simplifying this, we get A T plus B T minus B T. So, plus B T minus B T get cancelled. We have sin A T by A plus B. Next, when you put 0 in the first term, we get sin B T by A minus B plus 0 in this term, we get sin minus B T divided by a plus B. 
and we know that sin of minus theta is minus sin theta so i can simplify this further like 1 by 2 sin at divided by a minus b plus sin at divided by a plus b when i multiply the minus we get sin bt divided by a minus b then sin of minus theta is minus sin theta minus into minus plus sin bt divided by a plus b now we have to simplify this further so i will take this sin at common we get 1 by a minus b plus 1 by a plus b next i'll take minus sin bt in common we get 1 by a minus b minus 1 by a plus b now simplifying this sin at in the denominator we get a square minus b square in the numerator a plus b plus a minus b minus sin bt into a plus b minus of a minus b is minus a plus b denominator we have a square minus b square now simplifying this further we get b and minus b cancel 2a sin at by a square minus b square minus 2b sin bt divided by a square minus b square now take 2 from the numerator and i can cancel this since my denominator is same i will write a square minus b square in the numerator we have a sin at minus b sin bt this is my final answer students so l inverse of a square by a square plus a square into a square plus b square is a sin at minus b sin bt divided by a square minus b square hope you understand thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye